Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. In today's video we're going to be going over Momocon 2023. It is an A tier event that's taking place this weekend. It's the biggest event of the weekend and there's a lot of people at this tournament that we haven't seen in a little bit so you know it's going to be a banger. In the top 16 seeds you have Chunky Kong, Fatality, Aaron, and Teaser in 13th. Jazo, Omega, Wrath, and DD in 9th. In 7th you have Jake and Anathema. 5th you have Cola, Cosmos, 4th Meister, 3rd Sonics, 2nd Light, and 1st is Tweet. And the first spot I want to take a look at is going to be Hyper for Kirby or Mugen. He is extremely talented. He just doesn't really go to much stuff. I think the last time we saw him at a pretty big event was Cirque to CFL where he got a really nice fourth place and I'm hoping he can replicate that there and honestly I wouldn't be super surprised because he is ridiculously talented. He has to go against Chunky Kong in the winner setter bracket which admittedly isn't a great draw especially considering that Chunky Kong has beaten Cola in the past so he's clearly good at the Roy matchup but just because you beat one top Roy doesn't mean you get a guaranteed win on the other one and Donkey Kong is definitely a character you can beat in bracket even if someone knows the matchup so I think that is a dual upset and then he would go into tweak which is also just again not a great draw not impossible but tweak is a pretty tough one but what interests me is the loser setter bracket because he's supposed to go against fatality and though the loser setter bracket is a little bit fickle let's say we get this matchup this could go so hard because these guys have played 20 times in tournament and the record is 10 10 they are dead even right down the middle this is the tiebreaker at a major level tournament it would be so sick to this again it's not necessarily going to happen but if it does that's definitely a set the hyper Kirby can take. I mean, he takes it half the time. Literally the most coin flippy set that could happen. So, really interested to see how Hyper Kirby's run is. I think he can make a decent run in winners and lose a setup bracket. The next part I want to take a look at is going to be Chunky, who's coming in very hot to this weekend with a recent top eight as Xanadu Homecoming, which was an insanely stacked regional. Now, unfortunately for them, in the winner setup bracket, they are supposed to go against Danny, which is a really bad matchup for Wii Fit. Like, Wolf absolutely destroys this character, but there is always the factor of, you know what, Chunky probably knows the Wolf matchup better than Danny knows the Wii Fit matchup, but I kind of just always assume that about Wii Fit players because I don't know when you ever see a Wii Fit in bracket, so that's definitely a factor, as well as deep breathing. You can steal sets from literally any player in the world, so while this is a doable upset, again, on paper, it is a really, really bad matchup. Like, I cannot stress that enough, so not impossible, but not something you would maybe favor, but in the loser side of bracket, they have to go against Sam, which I think they should be able to beat, and Tachyon, who they were recently able to beat at, I believe, Dreamhack, so you'd favor them there, as well as, well as Pikachu just being a really hard character in bracket, but who knows, maybe Tachyon will get that H4 buff. Pikachu's around the world rejoicing for that win, so maybe he has to go against that disadvantage, but let's say he is able to beat Tachyon, which again, I think he should be able to do. He has to go against Vendetta, now, this isn't necessarily a super great matchup for Weefit, but again, deep breathing, you can very easily steal stocks in tournament. You also have your Nair, which is a big deal for Weefit in the combo game that can break focus. So there's definitely a couple things that Weefit has going for them in the matchup. It's not going to be free, but I think Chunky is a player that has been leveling up a lot lately. Again, they're coming in hot from last weekend, and I definitely believe in them to get a couple upsets. Next up, I want to talk about the two hidden gems of Georgia, that of course being Wrath and Didi. And we'll start off with Wrath, and I actually don't think his bracket is super good for him. He's down 0-2 versus Anathema Lifetime, and even if he does upset Anathema, he has to go against Light, who's probably the best player in the world versus Sonic, as well as him playing Fox, which is one of Sonic's worst matchups. And in the lower bracket, it doesn't even get that much better, because he's supposed to go against Cosmos, who plays Aegis, which is also one of Sonic's worst matchups. And even before that, WebJP is supposed to beat Sonido, a Sonic player, so he's clearly got to be good at the Sonic matchup to get here. So it's just overall pretty rough bracket for Wrath. Do I think it's impossible for him to top 8 though? No, I think Wrath is ridiculous. I think he could be literally anyone in the world. I mean, we've seen him do it before. It's only a matter of time before he does it again, but this bracket is definitely not stacked in his favor. But on the other hand, I think Dee's bracket is actually pretty good for him. He is supposed to go against Cola, which isn't amazing. He's 13-3 there, or rather 3-13 for Cola. So that's not going to be favored for Dee, but... In the winner's side of bracket, I don't even think he's going to get to that part of Loris because he has to go against Jake, and I think Didi should definitely beat Jake. He is really good versus Steve. I don't imagine he's going to ditto Jake. I think it's probably going to be the Pokemon trainer coming out from Didi, but I would definitely favor him in that matchup because he is not only really good at it, but I also think PT does pretty good there. Then he's supposed to go against Tweak, which isn't an amazing draw just because, you know, it's Tweak. Tweak has experience versus Aqua, and though he's never beaten Aqua, he's taken it pretty close, and then he used to be one of the best, not one of the best PT player in the world, so not an amazing draw, not impossible though but in the lower side of bracket he's supposed to go against omega again that is if he beats jake and he has an extremely dominant record versus omega so i could definitely see dd and wrath making top eight i think dd's bracket is a little bit better for him but also wrath is just extremely talented so both these guys could 100 make a top eight appearance and now that we're actually in the top eight i think the only two players in jeopardy in the winner side of bracket are meister and sonics though i would still favor them in their matchups meister has to go against cosmos to get into the top eight and aegis i think does very well versus game watch but also 
also Meister has so much experience versus Aegis that he should be fine there. And then for Sonics, he's supposed to go against Cola. And it's kind of the same thing. Cola has so much experience versus Wrath, but the last time they played was at Level Up Expo, which is actually pretty recent. And Sonics was able to take it. It was a Game Five set. It was crazy close, so that could go either way. But on paper, he's still going to favor Sonics. And let's actually talk about him here because Sonics has to go against Light, and obviously that's been his bracket demon pretty much since the start of him becoming a top player. He's not been able to beat Light yet. I don't think he's ever beaten light in his competitive history I'll check in a little bit and I honestly think that this is the only thing keeping him from winning this tournament I think he can beat Meister I think he might be able to beat Tweak he can beat literally anyone else he just has to get through light so we're gonna see okay what has he been cooking and I think if we're gonna see Sonic's win his main thing is gonna be him going for edge guards because I think in the Sonic and Fox matchup the main thing is like okay in the neutral they're pretty similar I would favor Fox in the advantage state the disadvantage state though it definitely goes to Sonic his disadvantage state is way better versus Fox especially considering that you can edge guard Fox pretty easily as Sonic Sonic has the best edge guarding in the game and fox doesn't have an amazing recovery so i think if Sonic is going to make his money and finally upset light it's going to have to be off the edge guards next up you're going to have meister and to be honest meister might be the favorite going into this tournament just considering he was able to beat tweak at battle of bc the set was very close though we also didn't see tweak try out the sephiroth so maybe that's the adjustment that he makes going into momocon but on paper you favor meister there he won the last time they played like literally a week ago then he would go into either light or sonics now i think sonics is not a great pick for meister but it's it's probably going to be light and light has been meister in the past but it is still fox game watch that is an abysmal matchup so meister in theory if he can get past tweak he should be able to win the entire tournament but again you have to still get past tweak and even then you still have to beat light afterwards he's beaten you in the past even though the matchup is yours on paper light is such an incredible player that you can never really count him out but i think this is again a great bracket for meister we saw at low tide said he had a really good bracket he performed there he's been only performing his last couple of events collision did really well battle of bc did really really well low tide city did really well so meister he's on a bit of a hot streak right now and i wouldn't be super shocked if he continued it this weekend and won his first major so someone I just forgot to mention that could definitely beat Meister is going to be Cola. And speaking of Cola, I have been very impressed by him lately because he seems to be slowly just on a rise back to the top. He's a 6-5 record versus Meister overall, and they are projected to play against each other. That is going to be if Cola does lose to Sonic. So there's a chance that they don't. And Cola also has to get through Anathema, who again is one of the biggest wildcards of the tournament because Anathema can beat literally anyone. He's such a scary player. But assuming that Cola does beat Anathema and that Tweet gets his run back versus Meister, you're going to have Meister versus versus Cola in the loser side of bracket and that might even be one where you favor Cola and again 6-5 in lifetime it is very very close between them but it is still in Cola's favor I think the matchup is pretty good for him as well so if he's able to carry his momentum that he's been having over these past few tournaments just slowly ramping up and then I think Cola can make that upset but you also have to consider that Meister's momentum has been monumentous through his last couple tournaments so we're gonna have to see what happens there it's gonna be interesting but Cola's a player that you definitely have to watch out for in this tournament we'll have the return of Jake here and alongside him Anathema and Chunky Kong I think he's the biggest wild card of this tournament because he's either going to do super well or super bad probably he could of course finish around that mid-range but we haven't seen him at the major level since collision which admittedly wasn't super long ago but the only two tournaments he's been since then he has won both of them and they were over players like sean and Esem. so he is clearly still in practice still a top threat and i think he could pop off the tournament but again it could be the opposite effect we haven't seen him at the top in a little bit so he might bust it out hard as well but i'm excited to see jake back he's an amazing player he did some pretty interesting stuff with steve that i feel like some steve players just weren't doing so hopefully he brings that innovation to this tournament and pops off and I know I talked about the wild cards of this tournament, but I want to talk about the dark horse of Cosmos. And he's the dark horse because I think he can win the entire event. Again, my top three picks are going to be light, they're going to be tweaked, they're going to be Meister. But I think Cosmos can still do it because every single player that he's supposed to go against, he can beat. He can beat Sonics. Again, Aegis does great versus Sonic. He's beaten Tweak. He's beaten Light. He's beaten Meister. He hasn't played Meister in a very long time, though. But again, matchup is in his favor. I've kind of already talked about that, so I won't go any further into it. Cola as well. That's a person that he usually trades sets with, but he has beaten them. That's the thing about Cosmos. A lot of the time he's losing and a lot of the time he's winning. He trades sets with so many top players that it's pretty unpredictable how he's going to do. But if this is Cosmos playing good, he could 100% win this bracket. But enough putting it off. We got to talk about number one and number two of this tournament, Light and Tweak. And I do think that Light's bracket is a little bit better for him. I'd say his hardest opponent is going to be Anathema. And I know I haven't talked about Anathema specifically in this video, but overall, I just would never want to run into Anathema in your bracket. He's someone that you never want to see. He is so scary. He hits you once and you explode. He's the best tech raw player in the world. Those Zombas results are a little bit better right now. I'd still give the technical prowess to Anathema. It's actually unreal how good he is at his character. But 
if he's able to get through that, he is supposed to go against Sonos, which is a very, very favorable matchup for Light. And for Tweak, we already talked about him. He's as supposed to go against Jake or Didi, which I would favor him in. And then Meister. Meister's going to be a bit of a tricky one. I'm curious to see, okay, is it going to be Sephiroth or is it going to be Diddy Kong? If I had to guess, it's probably going to be Diddy Kong, just considering that he didn't try at all at Battle of BC. Now, this could have been because the games were very close. Like, he definitely could have won both those Diddy games. So, we could see the Sephiroth game one or game two, but if it doesn't work, I wouldn't be surprised to see him going back to the Diddy Kong. But also with Tweak, some tournaments he just decides to play Sephiroth. Some tournaments he decides to play Diddy Kong. He really goes off which character is playing better that day. And when you're at Tweak's level and you're such a talented player, I honestly think that you should be doing that because even though the matchups may be more favorable for one character, if you're super feeling it with your Sephiroth, it's okay if you're playing a disadvantageous matchup because you're just that guy. So if Tweak is able to get over Meister, the last two times that Tweak and Light have played, it has gone in Tweak's favor. Now, the sets have been fairly close. The Battle of BC one was the only time that these guys have played recently that it was like a complete blowout in one person's favor. Like, Tweak won that one very dominantly. So maybe Light's been practicing. I mean, maybe. I imagine Light's been practicing to get that run back for it. So that's going to be super interesting. We kind of have a little bit of a level up expo theme here with maybe Sonics in third and Light and Tweak in grand final. So it's kind of unpredictable for these guys. But if Tweak is able to get past Meister, I would would project him to win the tournament. Honestly, for me, it's just whoever wins this winner semifinal set between Tweak and Miser is going to take the whole thing. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it again. If there's a player that I left out, please let me know down below. There's a lot of people attending this tournament, and we can't go over all of them, but this is going to be a super fun one again. It is an A-tier size. I think the top eight for this is going to bang super hard. Like, the amount of just talented and fun players to watch in this one is really exciting. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Sports been absolutely real. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.